Caney and hit South Carolina in its second U.S. landfall after carving a swathe of major destruction across Florida. It returned as a Category 1 hurricane near Georgetown at 2.05 local time on Friday before losing some power as it marched inland. Ian's maximum sustained winds were 85 miles per hour when it came ashore and battered the state with damaging winds, heavy rain, and storm surge. In coastal South Carolina, Ian damaged four piers and sent torrents of water flooding into neighborhoods, including in the popular seaside city of Myrtle Beach. The storm caused a middle section of the Cherry Grove Pier in North Myrtle Beach to collapse. It was just one of the many structures down in the area from storm surge. Online cameras showed seawater filling neighborhoods in Garden City to cap level. Nearly 200,000 homes and businesses in South Carolina were without power by Friday evening. In the city of Charleston, around 80 miles south of where the hurricane made landfall, cars were seen driving through flooded roads. was one of the strongest storms ever to hit the U.S. when it struck Florida as a category for hurricane on Wednesday. Officials in Florida, meanwhile, were assessing the damage and continuing search and rescue efforts after being slammed into the Fort Myers area.